Guys are doing a good job there. After much waiting, six-year-olds Fiona and Lily now know they'll be off to school for grade one in September, and they'll be going full time. But for their mom, anxiety and uncertainty. I would like to hear a real plan. I'd like to hear what the classrooms are going to look like. How many children will be in a classroom? I want to hear about cleaning protocols. Instead, today the province announced the broad strokes, centered around the creation of what are called learning groups. The principle behind these learning groups is to create groups of student and staff who will remain together throughout the school year or term and who primarily interact only with each other. Schedules will be varied to keep these groups from mixing with others. For elementary students, there will be as large as 60 people. For high schoolers, 120. That is a, a, a very effective way of trying to, of reducing um, potential for transmission. Also announced $45 million for masks and hygiene measures. So we think it would be... For the teachers' union, though, September. concerns about a lack of consultation. We need a lot more time, and there's a lot of questions that need to be answered. For many parents and students, mixed feelings over today's announcement. I'm a little nervous to go back, but I'm happy to see my friends. Mixing in halls and classrooes with others is a worry for this grade seven's family, but so is ongoing isolation. For um, kids been age, there are, is a lot of stress and anxiety, just being social with your friends and trying to fit in. Going from a very small family bubble to a full classroom is a big step for some. It seems scary. Um, when we've felt so insulated up until this point. Many of the details are being left to the local school boards to sort out just how this will work come September. Greg Rasmussen, CBC News, Vancouver.